Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. As we head towards kickoff, two quarterbacks will be on the field today trying to push their team to victory. It's Smith's Redskins going up against Jared Goff's Rams. Thank you very much, Larry. EA Sports coverage of the NFL. The National Football League is here and on the air. Who said the crowds wouldn't embrace football being back in L.A.? You certainly couldn't tell that by what we saw a few moments ago. These folks are pumped up as their Rams get set to do battle with the Washington Redskins. Two teams here fresh off week one victories. Who can keep it going as we're underway on EA Sports? And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Last year, Gurley, 74% of LA's carries. That's the highest percentage in the league. But no real payoff because they finished 31st in the league in rushing. I think as a team, they ran for 78 yards per game. They had a 1,000-yard receiver and Kenny Britt out wide, but they really didn't scare people downfield. And because of that, they stacked the line of scrimmage and stuffed the run game. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. Goff now looks to throw and unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. He gets this away. It's a good one, drawing toward the sidelines. That one sails out of bounds. A side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. Very tough spot here for the offense to start. On first and ten, Smith. Josh Doxon's got it complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. 18 yards the game for number 18. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Going to get about seven yards on that one, up to around the 33. But that run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, saying, We got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. Possible run anticipation here as the D line sandwiches together. On second down, here's Smith. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Give him two yards on that play. And that'll make it third and one. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he will force his way forward for a yard or two, but I have a good feeling this will be coming back. So he was holding from that left tackle position. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth.
So now third and ten. A big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Throwing on third down. Smith. Hard throw. Incomplete. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Oh, he's going to go ahead and field it from the three-yard line. That one in the books as a 64-yard punt. And the Rams will be backed up deep to begin the drive as they take over first and 10. And not great starting field position here for the offense. They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Little motion now from the tight end. Another carry now for Gurley. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. And he had a nice play there from his free safety position to hold him to nothing. And, Brandon, remember when the free safety was always back away from the line of scrimmage? That's changed. They always <laughs> that changed in a big way. The way we see it now, they're almost mirrors between the free safety and the strong safety. One will be up, one will be back, or sometimes both will be in the same spot. On that play, the free safety was there, no gain. Here comes the D swarming to the line. Back to throw, gone. This is caught, it's Cooks. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives him a new set of downs. So here we go, first and 10 now. They try right side here, Gurley. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Well, yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Again, they run with Gurley. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. And now prior to this third and one, we're going to get a timeout here. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. I know it's the first half, but it's still hard to curb the enthusiasm for that stop. Third and one, and the offense can't get there. The defensive team has got to feel very good about themselves. Great job out leveraging the offense. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Now it's Crowder. 
Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And the Washington offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. And tough starting field position here. Smith on first down. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Richardson. And they'll get him down up past the 15. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, Shift together here from the D-line. On first down, it's Smith. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. One thing they definitely like about this youngster is his motor. He is full throttle on each and every snap. Loves to get after the quarterback, and that has to feel good to him right there. His first career sack. To throw on second down is Smith. Jackson with a grab over the middle. And he's able to get up here to the 26. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. It's good to see Josh Dotson back on the field. Only two games played as a rookie due to an injury. They need his high-flying ways to spark their offense. And they expect a lot out of those high-flying ways. Third wide receiver taken in last year's draft. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you should have a few men in the box there. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. Here's Smith now on second down. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 48, and his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. Ah, oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball, and I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Try and start the drive with Gurley. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Play fake to Gurley. Now gone. And that one's complete to Gurley. Call it a pickup of seven. And that'll lead here to a third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end. But running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. The Rams on third down, just one for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. 
And the slot man goes in motion left. Third and two, gone. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Matt Ioannidis coming in to drop him for a loss of eight. And it'll be fourth down. Here's Johnny Hecker now as he's on to punt for L.A. And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. A reminder, coming up tonight, Green Bay visits Atlanta. All sorts of storylines there. A playoff rematch, also the opening of Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And then on Monday night, the Giants host the Lions. So the Giants play on Sunday night and Monday night to open the season. Yeah, two under the lights. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Quick hitch, complete. It's Richardson. And he'll go down for a loss inside his own five at the four. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 14. the 16-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 12 yards, and that is going to set up a third and one. Look, the first down marker is out there, but sometimes it's hard to find for an offense when they're in a long yardage situation, which usually means throw the football. In this case, they went against the tendency and ran it, and boy, the reward was there. A big, big pickup, and guess what? It's now third and very short in order to try and pick up a first down. A minute 58 to go in this first half of play. Here's Tressway now, standing just outside his own goal line. We're back to the City of Angels after this timeout. This is brought in at the 21. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. So far, they've had three drives, three punts. Not good. Not good indeed because you've got to have something to show for being out on the field. Now, sometimes if you have a game where neither side has scored, three punts isn't a bad thing. But when you're trying to set the pace, get up on top in a game, you've got to show better offense and find a way to put some points on the board. On first down, it's Gurley. And he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. <laughs> on second down, here's Goff. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. And now we're going to get a timeout called by the Redskin defense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. The Rams on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. Here it's third and two. Has it over the middle. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. That one goes for 13 yards.
Gets it, it moves the sticks. They'll send the tight end in motion. Here comes carry number 10 for Gurley. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling. And the Redskins do get to him. He goes down for a sack. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. Out of the gun, Goff. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. On now is the big leg of Greg Zerline. He has hit from as far as 61 away in his career. They spot it on the midfield stripe, so it is a 60-yard attempt here. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot, and this will remain a scoreless game. And this is one of the risks you run when you attempt a long field goal. If you miss, the defense takes over the spot of the placement, so now they've got a chance to get one more drive in before halftime. From the 50, it's Smith. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Akeem Tlaib. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. This interception will go on the record of the quarterback. But as a receiver, you've got to understand where you are in the field. Middle portion, you know it's going to come in hot. Square your body to the quarterback and be ready to make the catch. On first and ten, gone. He's letting it fly for Cooks. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. There's Gaw. Looking deep downfield. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Eric Reed. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. This defense had three interceptions last week. They're on pace for more than that here. Two in the first half. Do not adjust your set. This is not instant replay. <laughs> this is a defense that is locked in. They're essentially running the routes for the receivers and turning them to the receivers themselves, aren't they? I mean, it is amazing what I'm seeing because the reactions of those guys back on the back seven, phenomenal. Now you folks don't know what you're missing. You're missing Larry Ridley. Ready to get back, though, to this week two matchup. Let's get to it. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. So out now come the Redskins. There are zero points on the scoreboard for either side. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments were made. The defenses have obviously been great. So if you like defense, this is a classic game. This is what you're looking for. But now you're trying to figure out how to gain any type of an advantage on offense. Is it through a big chunk play that they haven't seen before? Or is it just running your regular offense and running it better, trying to create an opportunity. We'll, we'll see which avenue they choose to go down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Partner, you know I love to point out when teams break tendency and do something a little bit different from the norm. But when you run the ball in the first play of the drive, that's not a tendency breaker at all. That's just trying to establish yourself as you move forward. Four 
Here we go with second and seven. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. Here's Smith. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Akeem Tlaib. So that right there was his second pick. But keep in mind, this is a guy who once had a rare three-interception game in his career. So what are you saying? That getting two in a game is like kid stuff for him? That's nothing. He's already Amateur done that, hour. right? Been there, done that. You know he wants a third again. Time to establish the run game here. Gurley. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, and you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set him up. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. So step off the five yards. Yeah, partner, you know. Defensive end, he wants to get into the offensive backfield. He wants that get off to be as fast as possible. A little too quick on that one. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Here's Gurley. And he gets it down to the 32. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. And some extras coming up on the line here, Redding for the blitz. Now Goff will hand this one to Gurley. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. To throw is gone. This will be caught inside the 10. And he's brought down, but not before reaching the 8-yard line. And a nice gain of 21 yards. The offense operating inside the 10 at the 8 here. It's first and goal. Here we go. On first and goal, Gurley. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Todd Gurley, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Rams are in for six. Well, these two teams battled through a scoreless first half. Finally, a breakthrough here in quarter number three. And I just wonder how that played for both of them psychologically. Because when you battle through a scoreless first half, now you know that every possession is increasingly crucial. Who can put points on the board, make the other team chase? Wonder if you get a lift and if they get deflated a little bit. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Smith now to throw on second down. Caught on the right side, Reed. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. That catch good for five. It's third down. I don't think there's any question that Jordan Reed is as athletic as any tight end in the league. 
All right, I don't think there's any debate about that. The hard part is just him being able to be healthy. And when he's on the field, though, boy, does he take them to another level, doesn't he? He certainly does. Changes the game for them because they can use him in so many different spots and create mismatches against the defense. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off right around the 43. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. On the toss, it's Gurley. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside where they can really shred your defense. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Now golf on first down. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we get back. In the red zone this time. Now it's Goff, off the bootleg, rolling to his left. And his throw is incomplete. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after. Third down here. Terrific coverage in the end zone that time. Forced him out of the pocket to his right. I thought maybe try and run it there, but no one came open for him. Nice job by the defense of not getting out of their lanes. The Rams on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and four. Woods, the receiver, in motion left. They go play action with Gurley. Now gone. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fake. on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. And Zerline's kick is good. And the lead moves to 10-zip. So he missed a field goal earlier, but he says not this time, and he's able to knock it through to give his guys three. And that's all you want as a kicker, a chance to redeem yourself. You got to have a short memory if you're going to survive at this level, and he's able to get back on track. And a good return. He's across the 35-yard line, right around the 36. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily when you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Now a first down throw, it's Smith. And he whips that one incomplete there. Brian Quick, the intended target. And now it's second down. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No pick, just incomplete that time. 
Second and ten, Smith again. And fights through one man. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. The Redskins on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and eight. Throwing again is Smith. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it. Brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. All right, so you needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal then maybe not exactly what they wanted, but it's a necessary first step. Still plenty of time remaining, but you could really use a stop defensively after the kickoff, preferably a three and out. Now the Rams offense, they work their way back on the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the Here field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> not one that I've ever met. And they're behind the sticks here a bit now, dealing with a second and 12. So the D-line's going to spread out. Now gone. Got a man. It's the rookie, Josh Reynolds. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Back to the workhorse today. It's Gurley looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. Cooks will come in motion right. To throw on second down is gone. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by the all-pro corner, Josh Norman. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. After the interception, here's Smith. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. Give him seven on the play, and that'll make this a second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Redskins on third down. Just one for five to this point. Here it's third and three. A shotgun snap for Smith. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. First and ten, Smith. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Fifteen more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. On first down, it's Smith. 
He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. A great effort there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Redskins are an extra point away from tying this thing up. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and ten. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. Following the penalty, it's Gurley. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And all the way down to the 29. A big run there by Gurley. 41 yards. So Gurley gashes the defense. A lot of people say, do you take running backs early first round? Do you want them that high? Surely you're happy you took Todd Gurley that early. Without a doubt, Dr. Seuss. I love the way that that got done by you. But even better, it's fun to watch Todd Gurley run the football. He is electrifying. I want you to know that I did not mean to do that, by the way. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. That's another nice run, and I have to tell you, some of the coaches that I played for, their philosophies were always different when they see a guy running the ball well. Some of them wanted to immediately go to play action and throw it now because it's wide open. While other coaches said, you know something? Until they stop him, that big boy is going to keep getting the football. And that might be the direction that they're going to go right now. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Hitting the home stretch here in a great game, a tie game. Let's see if the defense can get the stop they need to get the ball back. Here comes a 20th carry for Gurley. Four yards on the pick up there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. And now a timeout taken here defensively with 2.07 remaining. So they'll also have the stop coming up at the two-minute warning. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. A shotgun snap for Gong. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Gerald Everett, his first NFL reception goes for six. And the Rams have taken the lead. Zerline now for the PAT. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Now the Redskins offense, they get set to go back to work here. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. They go play action here on first down. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. Got it, got it, got it, got it. 
They'll look to throw. Over the middle complete. It's Richardson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. I tell you, it has not been his best day throwing the football. He really needs to piece something together here. All will be forgiven if he leads him into the end zone. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. It's Crowder, and he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. 12 yards there as they move the chains. They got exactly what they wanted there. Out route, catch, get out of bounds, stop the clock. And I have to criticize defense here because you know the situation. You want to keep them in bounds and have the clock run. So I'm sitting on the outside portion of the field and not letting them throw an out route. Throw anything inside and I'll make the tackle an out route. That's not the way you're supposed to play it. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. He's back to throw. Fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. Give him six on the play, and that'll bring up a third down. It didn't check off every box, but the most important one. Got the clock stopped, getting out of bounds. They may be a little short of the first down, but I thought that was the key. him back and he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26 a good gain of 14 there and it moves the chains back to throw he's gonna let it fly and oh a crusher there as it's intercepted a great read and it's picked off and the return goes up to his own 17 yard line now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Goff turns and gives to Gurley. And a short pick up there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Now it's second and seven. Stick to the ground game with Gurley. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. The Rams on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and eight. On the handoff, it's Gurley. And some space here. Todd Gurley, wave goodbye. Pass the 20. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play. So it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou Country would say, that's a little land, yeah, a little extra on top. And how about that? He missed it. Won't matter much in the final shakedown. 